Hello all, welcome to Paraguide video tutorial. So the title of our topic for today is, is the real life streaming of data with Apache Kafka. So before going into the coding part and performing our demonstration, first we will understand the need of Apache Kafka and how we can use it for real life streaming. So as you all know, in big data, we have enormous volume of data that is being used and regarding data we have two main challenges the first challenge is how to collect large volume of data and the second objective is to analyze the collected data to overcome those challenges you must need a messaging system so now we will understand what our messaging system is the apache kafka is designed for distributed high throughput systems kafka tends to work very well as a replacement for a more traditional message broker so kafka is nothing but a message broker and we are going to use apache kafka to perform this real life streaming of data in our uh, educational tutorial in comparison to other messaging systems kafka kafka have been better throughput built in partitioning replication and inherent fault tolerance which make it as a good fit for a large scale message processing applications so for this video, we have three major obje objectives. First one would be setting up our environment that would be installing Apache Kafka and performing operations with it. Our second objective would be to understand the behavior of the messaging queue and perform a demonstration of a consumer and a producer to see how the messaging queue works among uh, the producer and the consumer. Our third and the final objective would be to have a complete demonstration of live streams of data using Apache Kafka. So for this, first we will go to this website kafka.apache.org. This is the official website for Apache Kafka. So from here onwards, we will first perform an installation of Apache Kafka on our system. And then we'll be moving towards the second part that, that is understanding the messaging queue section. So as my system is OS X, so my installation begins with brew. So uh, to do that, you have to go to your console and perform the following operations such as typing brew search Kafka. This command will search all the package dependencies for Kafka. And then my second command brew install Kafka will install the Kafka along with the zookeeper. So I don't need to uh, install zookeeper apart from the Kafka, it will automatically get installed with brew install Kafka. So if you are not from OS X env environment and you are using Linux or any other versions of operating system, you have to download this tar file of Kafka from this website. Directly you will download this tar file, then you have to extract this tar file and you have to go to the particular folder where you have downloaded this particular package. Now in the second part, if you have uh, uh, installed on the Mac OS, you have to type the following command that is ZK server start. This will start my zookeeper server and uh, this is the command I have to run on my system also. So as you can see here my uh, Kafka server is already running. So I will not be starting it again. And for another system, this is the basic command this, that is given in the step to start the server you have to go to your bin folder where you have installed uh, where you have downloaded this kafka um, uh, tar file so you have to extract it and you have to go to the bin folder after going to the bin folder you have to start this shell command with, uh, with this script zookeeper server start dot sh uh, config zookeeper dot properties so this will start your zookeeper after this you have to start your kafka server so for this, you have to start with Kafka server start.sh config slash server.properties. So this will start your Kafka server. So Zookeeper need to be started before starting the Kafka server. So you need to start this. So these are the two commands that need to be followed to start your servers. Now, after starting a server, you need to create a topic. So this is the topic topic where you are, you are all of the data that is going to be first produced and then consumed by your consumer. So uh, as you can see in this command, uh, this, this is the particular command you have to type kafka-topic.sh-create. So this will create a topic 
in the Kafka. I have written hyphen hyphen zookeeper localhost uh, 2181. So 2181 is the default port for uh, Apache Kafka. And then I have written replication factor as one, partition one, and hyphen hyphen topic test. So test is the name of the my partition. So and this will this is going to be only one replica. So as I have given replication factor as one and partition as one. So now after this command, I will as you can see this there is one more another command uh, in bin folder Kafka topics dot sh half and half and list. So this will list all of your uh, topics that are being currently running on your Kafka. So this is the way in this way you can uh, see all of your list are running. After this, as you can see in here in this section, my Kafka uh, producer is running and here my Kafka consumer is running. So as you can see, I have already run it. So I will run it again also. So as you can see, if I type uh, my producer Kafka is running. So I have just uh, typed this particular uh, text on my this producer. I will click on it and as soon as I click on it, my I can directly see the following text, whatever I have uh, typed is is in my consumer so this is this is the sort of live streaming i am talking about so your data as soon as you put your data on your consumer on your producers it is directly going to your consumer so you here you can consume all of your data that is being passing from your producer to your consumer so kafka is basically uh, giving all of your data that is being producing there to here so it it is acting as a messaging queue as i have already uh, explained you in the uh, uh, in this in the beginning of this tutorial that it's basically a messaging queue and it's highly designed for distributed higher throughput systems and it's very good fit for a large scale messaging processing applications so it's passing it's all of your data from producer to your consumer so in this way in this way you can start your uh, Kafka and you can have a live demo of your live streaming of data from producer to consumer so after this if there are the tutorial uh, does stops here but you can do after let's say that there they have given the uh, setups for um, creating a multi broker cluster so in this multi broker cluster you can configure many things a lot of things you have multiple servers here you can uh, set apart your replication factors with uh, same partitioning so in this way in this way you can have a multiple list of all of your um, topics you can you can create multiple to topics and you can simultaneously consume all of the topics that are in a one place where your consumer resides so so this is this is some sort of uh, live streaming of data we have performed with apache kafka so now what can be done next so after this tutorial you can club this uh, particular part of uh, Apache Kafka with Apache Spark and Apache Storm. So with the help of Apache St uh, Spark and Apache Storm, you can put out some, some particular logics to your data that is being uh, produced and consumed. So uh, with the help of this Apache Kafka, as these uh, all the three of are a part of Apache Foundations, so you can uh, easily club uh, each of them together and have a, a system running and uh, processing some of the data that is, that is being really uh, that is that is live data and that is being you can perform some sort of operations over it like uh, getting aggregation of the data or producing some sort of calculations over it. Uh, another thing you can do with uh, this is like you can create a, a really interactive live dashboard uh, like if you can see if you have a lot of uh, live tweets that is being coming out in your Twitter dashboards so you can uh, get all of your data from Twitter um, that uh, you, uh, you can get uh, that you can get a lot of data from your Twitter and you can directly show in your dashboard like how the trends are going, whether your tweets are positive or negative. So uh, simultaneously, it could be clubbed with another data like you, you have a live cricket score that is being uh, going on. So you can uh, consume consume your live cricket score from your producers and then you can show it on the consumer end and perform some sort of operations over it. Another thing you can do is like perform sentiment analysis of your tweets based on your how your tweets are performing in Twitter. So uh, this is the way you can uh, combine uh, with uh, the another thing you can do with this tutorial. So if you have any doubt regarding 
this performing live uh, to, uh, streaming of data with Apache Kafka. You can comment below in the comment section. For more videos on Apache Kafka and live streaming, you can subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.